Okay, hello. I'm going to show how to play my game, Red Rook Blue Bishop. This is a game I have on Board Game Geek. Um, I will post a description below with the link to the port play, print and play files. So it's a very simple game, and the components are very simple. Over here, you basically see everything that you need to play the game. There's uh, three cubes. These are typical Euro cubes, um, and then there's a dice, and then there's two cards. Um, so, pretty simple game. I've just cut it out just now, and uh, I, I use some scissors and print it out on the printer. And um, these are these are basic sleeves. They you can get them at like regular gaming stores or even online, um, or you, you could even just leave the two papers in the two uh, the two cutout papers in the original paper file. So. Uh, after I cut out the papers, I sleeve them inside of these sleeves, and they're pretty durable and useful and such. Um, and so we can, uh, I can show you how to do that. Oh, and by the way, I also put two Yu-Yu cards, which I used to play as a kid, behind them so that uh, they'd have a little bit more sturdiness. But you don't have to do anything like that. You can just print it out. Anyways, to play the game, it's pretty simple. Uh, it's reminiscent of a little bit of chess inspiration from that, obviously from the title and also a little bit from Ricochet Robots. So, it can be played solo and up to like four players. You could play with more if you wanted, but I would not recommend it, because the, the board is small, so it's hard to see. So, first you have to set up the board, so now it's a one. We'll take the red cube over here and we'll place it onto the um, mat at, at somewhere on the one space, and now you roll again, and it's a four, okay. So now we take the four and put it here. Alright, so now the corner is 1-4. Next we'll do it for the blue. Blue is 3. Okay. Now again. That's a 1. Okay, so blue is at 3-1. And sorry, this is moving. I'm not used to recording on the phone. Alright, last thing is the white. The 1 and uh, 2. Okay, so the white is at 1-2. So how the game works is that um, this played in a series of rounds. Every round you're trying to move a certain piece to the um, goal, to the target. The white cube is the target, the red cube is the red rook, and the blue cube is the um, bishop. So um, the movement of the red cube is pretty simple. You can go in uh, up, down, left, or right. That's it. Okay. Uh, the bishop, uh, red, blue, blue bishop can go diagonally and such, and that works uh, as that movement. The white cube does not move at all, but you can move the other cu two cubes as much as, they, as you like. So, um, when the white cube is in the outer perimeter, like that, so in any of the one column, the one row, or the six column, or the six row, then the goal is to get the bishop uh, to reach the white target. Otherwise, the goal is to get the inner four, uh, for the, uh, if, if the white cube is in the inner four, the rook must reach it. So, um, right now it's in the outer perimeter right here, like that. So that means that the bishop must, must reach it, and we must see how many moves it can do. So you can move the rook left, right, up, down, and you can move the bishop diagonally and such. So um, let us me think about this for a second. Oh, and then there's also the rule that um, you, once per round, you may bump the bishop by moving the rook into it. So for example, if the rook was, let's say, here, let's say he was here, and we move him down into here, I can bump him over, and then the rook would be in this spot, and the bishop would be in this spot which we will need to do, and actually that would help us solve this one. So let's do that. Uh, I would say, once I have the solution in my head, I would say capture, and then I will move the series of spaces. So one for the rook, two for the rook, three for the rook, and I'll bump the bishop over one space. And now I'll move the bishop one. And now I've captured this, and now I get a point. Um, and then this is the new setup of the board. Um, and I will roll again, five, four. Now I'll place this at five, four. Um, and now I will do the same thing, but this time around, since it's in the inner perimeter, that's where the rook must uh, guard. So the rook must reach that spot right there. Um, and you have to usually think about this for a bit because it's not usually easy, I would say. Um, but I could say capture, for example, and do something like this, for example. One, two, 
three because the bishop is all diagonals and the rook is one, two. And he would capture that space right there, like that. And then the, whichever player said capture would get a point then. And you basically keep playing in rounds like this until you get three points. Um, you can play to more points if you want, but you don't have to. Uh, and that's how you play red, rook, blue, bishop. Um, I designed the game to have minimal components, and um, I hope that you guys like this video. Um, you, you can uh, really just use any pieces for those. Um, like for example, instead of the blue cube and the red cube, you could use like pennies and dimes. And then for the target, you could you could use a dice even, like and just replace that with a dice. It's just that when you print out the print and play file, um, you have to enlarge the thing because um, I designed, I, I uh, sized this so that it would fit like very, like ideally into uh, two playing cards that could be portable. But if you want like a bigger board um, or you don't have the right components, you know, feel free to make it bigger and put the things inside and such. And then uh, the dice you will need, but um, you, you could like, you know, get a dice generator. Lots of websites do that if you don't have that. Um, so if you give it a go, please let me know. Message me, post an print and play file on uh, Board Game Geek. Um, I mean, I'll, in the work, work in progress page. And uh, just let me know what you think. All right. Thank you. I hope that helped. And uh, that was Red Rook, Blue Bishop. All right. Take care.